As we all pause and consider reflections of this past year and our hopes for the year to come, it may be easy f to focus on our COVID challenges, heavy hearts, and tragedies in our lives. But I caution us all not to limit our perspective to only negative thoughts. It is true that death, sickness, and job loss, mental health impacted so many of our lives. However, in every tragedy, we can find heroism in each of us, picking up the pieces and moving forward. As a society, we are learning new ways to work, communicate, and transact with each other through innovations, overcoming the obstacles of the pandemic. So many of us have realigned our priorities to putting time with family above working a little bit extra, because often we don't truly appreciate the value of something until it is taken from us. So don't pass on the opportunity to share love and kindness to those you care about the most, your friends and family, and even to strangers, because in order to build a better community, everyone needs and deserves love. Have a peaceful holiday season and share lots of love in the new year. that MTV chose the workshop as a segment of their Christmas special. Uh, you don't know, excuse me, why does she get to go first? Yeah, if anyone should be going first, it should be me. Wait, do we start? Yes. All right. Hi, I'm Apple Cider, but people call me Cider. I'm the smartest elf in Santa's workshop, you know? Hey guys, look at these candy canes. How oh, cool. I think this is a candy cane? Candy hook. You're not serious, right? I'm the most handsome elf here. I'm in charge of the wrapping division. I make sure all the toys are ready to go down to the inspection division. My favorite elves here are Val and Jolly. They're pretty good. I absolutely hate Dottie. She's my rival. Ever since we were young, she's always just been there. Hello, I'm Dottie Evergreen. I'm the person who makes all your gifts, so I know what you freaks want, okay? Okay, sorry, sorry, it's a little rude. I'm the only sane person here at this workshop. Without me, this whole place would be like Halloween Town after Thanksgiving. I would like to say I'm an intellectual of some sorts. Hmm? Yeah. I'm hardworking. Oh my God! I'm respectful. That shade of purple is disgusting, by the way. Ah! And I really do think everyone here at the workshop enjoys my company. I get to go first because I'm the boss. What? Yes. What? Since when? I thought Sugar Plum Mary was the boss. Exactly. exactly. I thought Santa was the boss. Yeah. Where is Santa? Yeah. Hmm. Um, my name is Chuck. I work in the coal division. Just sit in the back of the room, usually watch them fight. Chuck really doesn't say much, but he's just there. You're, you're the most. most. You're, 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 you're the one who's the laziest. You I like Chuck. Not because we're close or anything, mainly because he knows his place here at the workshop. Or this side, right? Oh, okay then. Oh. Hi, my name is Vanilla Vanilli Frosting, but everybody here calls me Val. Everyone here in Santa's workshop loves me. Oh. Aw, they love me so much. Look at them. I am so better than everyone else over here because everyone is such all losers, especially Dottie. She is like so onto apple cider. Ugh. Uh, 
Hey, Dottie, did you? Oh my gosh, she scared me. Can you not speak to me? Ugh. I have like a huge crush on apple cider, but don't tell anyone. Or else I'll beat you up so hard that I'll turn into a fruitcake. I mean, the only reason apple cider even tolerate, tolerates Val, from what I can see, is because he's just such a raging narcissist and he just appreciates the praise from her. You're such a frosting biscuit! No, she is more like dark chocolate. Hi, I'm Jolly. I have a bunch of candy. Wait! Yeah, I remember that too. You just tried some insane. Where's the proof? You literally have a video. Hey, I think this is a great place to be. Actually, she's more like a roach. You literally look like a cross between a gremlin and a rat. You have no room to be talking, Slapple. Um, I think you look like a cute little gremlin. <laughs> Disgusting. Ugh. Hey, can you guys stop fighting and get back to what you were doing? Also, where's the sixth division? You don't mean... I think she does. Please don't say it. Ew, don't even compare us to those weirdos. Ugh. You know, when I first got hired, they said this would be a fun job, but it really used to be. Look, we got my buddy Steve up here, up in the underwear, he's all tied up. That's commitment right there. My buddy John, look, he's got the, the, an imposter elf all up on a target. We used to have fun. Look, we used to go fishing. That's me right there. I know I look a little different, but <laughs> we got my buddy Ricardo up here watching movies. We used to have fun, but now it's all different. It's really been suffering. Look, my buddy over here, he got touched. We don't like when you're doing that. We're always here to see how you're doing, but you never ask how we're doing. You know, it's not, it's not even funny. One reason I hate being an elf is the workers. Some of the workers are just so annoying, especially Gus. He's really annoying. <laughs> Working for Santa, it's, it's just really irritating. You know, all the other elves, uh, they're really mean to me. You know, I do my job. You know, this other elf, Christian, hit me over the head with a candy cane. It's really, really not a uh, elf like. I can't grow. I'm always getting thrown on top of shelves. Sometimes I just want to be a human. I mean, I look at all these houses I've been to. I mean, there's all these short kids. They're never getting thrown. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't fit in the costume. Man, being one of the taller elves, it's just really, it's really a pain. I get made fun of a lot. I hit my head on a lot of doorways. Um, a lot of the doorways like aren't meant for elves my size. I just walk in, I hit my head on them all the time. It's been getting harder recently because everybody's noticed I'm the only ginger elf. They compare me to people like Ron Weasley. The, uh, it, it's it's hard, you know. I get, I get really emotional about it, especially because I'm supposed to be normal. I'm supposed to take on some good jobs and inherit a lot when I'm older. But this this it, it's getting to me. <laughs> As you've already heard from my brother and sister elves, being an elf can be really hard. Your donation today could save an elf tomorrow. Anyways, I get to introduce us because I'm the most important division here. Ugh. Ugh. Says who? Christmas is literally based on the whole idea of gift giving. Who makes these gifts? Me! Whoa, Whoa what? Who wraps those gifts? Um, excuse me, who exports those gifts? Hey guys, can we just be friendly? No! no! First of all, literally without any of me, you guys want to have 
job. My yeah. back division pretty yeah. yeah. no, 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 You no, 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 Christmas, everybody. It is truly here. Yeah, we got a problem down in the E hallway. My oh, man, you got to go to A23. I wish I could go to a different division, man. Hey guys, my name is Tommy T. Ross, and today I went around and asked people what their favorite Christmas movie memory is. Here is what they had to say. Um, my favorite uh, moment uh, was um, an elf when uh, he thought he was a, um, like an elf, but he was like obviously bigger than everybody else. He hasn't figured out he's a human by now. I don't think he ever will. I think they're too small. In A Christmas Story, when they triple dog dared him to um, stick his tongue to the pole. We're going back now. This is next. Suck, suck, suck! Oh, my. My favorite one is The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's the What Is This song when you find snow for the first time. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? I think it's I think it's from Jingle All the Way when Arnold Schwarzenegger had to fight Santa Claus. It's called the Santa Showdown. National Lampoon, uh, Christmas with uh, Chevy Chase, when he's decorating and he puts all these lights up and he goes to plug them in, and then uh, it's, it's awesome. Well, my favorite movie is This Christmas. My favorite uh, memory from that movie is when uh, Chris Brown sings in the club. It's really cool. Oh, wow. oh, she may be weary. The Grinch, where the uh, Grinch decided to steal all the presents from the little boys and girls. Very sad. <laughs> Probably in the Polar Express where like all the kids joined the train. I just really like that scene and the CGI is pretty well done. Mm. 
My favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch, and my favorite memory is when The Grinch finally realizes he was wrong and meets family with the whole, whole Whoville. Heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> so if I can get a second one, my second one is in Elf, when all of a sudden the best scene ever, uh, you got uh, Buddy the Elf and the Norwal, and the Norwal comes up and he's like, Goodbye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. I don't know what it is about that scene, but every single time I laugh uncontrollably. My favorite. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 Bye, buddy. Hope you fight your dad. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. Bye. Have a good holiday, guys. Have a good holiday. Yo, why are you doing this to us? Doing what? You're giving us all this homework right before break. I got stuff I want to do. I'm giving you homework to make you a better person, make you smarter. I don't care about being smart over break. I don't need to be smart. I need to have fun and enjoy it. Well, I don't know. The test is coming up, so you got to be ready for the test. I'll be ready, but I don't need the homework. Well, that's the way it is. Merry Christmas for you. No, he's a kid. All these papers are great. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Wake up. Where did you come from? Who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. I'm here to tell you a story. Happened a long, long time ago to a young man by the name of Thomas McCain. Who are you? I'm Mr. Dorda. Mr. Dorda? Seemed like a Scrooge to me. So let me tell you about Thomas McCain. Thomas McCain was a student that didn't like to do any extra work. You would have seen him as a lazy student, but really and truthfully, he just wanted to have fun. Long ago, over Christmas break, Thomas McCain was given a whole bunch of work to do for Christmas break. Instead of doing the work because he wanted to have fun, he didn't do any of the work. Thomas McCain went on later on to have a very successful life. <laughs> Psych. Thomas McCain wanted up going crazy. And do you know what crazy people do? Crazy people go work for the crazy factory, the government. Eventually, Thomas McCain realized that he needed to do work over Christmas break, and he lost the joy of Christmas. Don't let that happen to you. Hey, Nick, I needed to tell you. That's um, you. I got a communication from this family, and their, their kids need to go see a psychologist. And uh, the more I dug into it, it's because of the work that you assigned over the holiday break. We've had this conversation before, and now with this emphasis on mental health and, and, and kids needing emotional support, now is the time more than ever, we gotta give them a break. So I know I've asked in years past, but I, I really need you to give them a break this year. All right, I, I feel a little differently about that because it's an AP course, but I'm sure I can give them a break. AP or not, every I mean, AP kids get just as stressed as anybody, and the research out there tells us, man, that it, it you know we cannot do this. And I'm just telling you, the, the, during this break, you got you got to lay off. 
you understand? All right, all right. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Did you see that Michigan game, by the way? I did. It was beautiful. Yeah, that was a great one. I love when Ohio State gets beat. Uh, indeed, indeed. They needed that win. All yeah, right. Well, look, you, you take care, and I hope your holidays are great as thank well. You too, thank you, too. Thank you. your future is going to be like if you don't stop giving kids homework. Mr. Dorda, we talked about this assigning work over the holiday break year after year. It's too many times and too many warnings. I don't know what else to do, but you've created this situation for yourself. So you are fired. Merry Christmas. Oh my God, no! No! I can't lose my job! I don't want to get fired. I don't want to get fired. Wait, wait, I'm not fired. I'm not fired. I'm not fired. I'm not fired. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. And the stockings were hung from the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. And out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash to open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With the old little driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. Or rapper than eagles as coarse as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. And away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim, you can drive out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Bashana is a Hebrew song of hope, for in the future we have brighter days. The English translation of the song. In the year to come, as I sit on my porch and count the birds flying around, I will see children playing, running between the houses and in the fields. You will see. You will see how good it will be in the year to come. As we pull through the current pandemic, we all strive for greatness and hopes for better days. This 
what we doing? Hello, sir. Why are you in here? You don't belong in here on the piano. You want to take piano? I offer a piano class. Why are you in here now? Sir, Mr. Elf, why are you in here? Now we can have a conversation and you can play, but you need to tell me why you're here. Okay, I need you to leave please, thank you.